Good morning. My name is Ed and I am with Top Tropicals in Fort Myers, Florida. You can find us online at toptropicals.com. Here this morning I want to show you a little bit how to tip a mango tree or to help shape the mango tree. Mangoes being one of the most popular fruits in the world, you know everybody just goes and buys their mango tree, sticks it in the ground and hopes they get mangoes. But it takes more than that you actually have to do just a little bit of work. It's really simple. You have to tip the branches, and what I mean by tipping is cutting off the ends of the branches to help promote more branches to grow from that area. Um, I typically will tip my trees when the branches reach about 20 inches in length, um, and I'm gonna show you today how to do that. Very simple to do. We'll be right back. I'm going to move in on the tree a little bit for you and show you some of these branches as we tip them. And then later on I'll show you a tree in my yard that is a little bit older. Um, this, this particular tree is a Valencia Pride Mango. This has been in the ground for about seven months now. Uh, it was probably about two feet tall when we planted it. And as you can see now it's about four, four and a half feet tall, growing vigorously, spreading nicely. And we, we hope to continue to shape this tree um, as, as best we can. It will turn out to be a large tree. This tree should be 25 or 30 feet tall. And uh, at that point, I probably won't climb up it to tip it anymore, but hopefully have it in good shape by the time it reaches that height that it will be a beautiful tree. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to show you how to tip a branch. So this branch right here, is about 20 inches long, maybe a little bit longer from where it comes out of the stem here, or out of the, the main branch. I span about 10 inches, so there's 10, there's 20. This branch has been tipped before. You can see right here is where it was cut. It did not grow out of that cut exceptionally well. Um, it's only produced one branch out of there and continued to grow straight. So I am gonna cut it back a little bit hoping to produce more branches. This can happen, and, and I've learned this the hard way. These mango branches at the tips are very soft, very easy to just pinch one off with your fingertips. The problem that you run into when you do that is you don't always get a nice clean cut, and the branches can grow back just straight out of the top, don't get the branching that you would like. So what we're gonna do here today, we're gonna use a pair of nippers Make sure your nippers are clean. Wipe them down with uh, some bleach or alcohol between moving from tree to tree. Don't ever want to use dirty clippers on another tree and take the risk of transferring any diseases. So all we're gonna do on this one is cut off about a quarter inch from the top of the leaf. I'm not sure if you can see that real well here, but we just take our clean nippers and we're gonna cut these just right about there. You can see I've just removed a little bit from the tip of that. I've cut it at an angle. That will help keep the water from standing on it. And you can see already there's a little bit of latex coming to the top. If you're sensitive to latex, you may want to wear gloves when you do this. Um, it doesn't tend to bother me too much, but I do go wash my hands when I'm done, just in case. So. That would be that particular branch, it's ready. I have another one here. This one is also, um, it's been tipped in the past, but again, it's only grown a couple of leaves. I'm gonna tip this one and do the same thing. I'm gonna take in about a quarter inch. So just that little bit of top growth there. And then I have one more right over here. This is a, a first time that this one's been tipped. It's a good 20 inch branch off of this this main branch here, we're going to take this, we're going to cut just a quarter inch, maybe a little more on this tree, right off of the top of that. And that's it. You don't have to do every branch every time you come out. You just have to do the ones that need it, and those are the ones that needed it today. So I want to show you what we're trying to do here when we tip the tree. When we tip this tree branch, what we're looking for is for that branch to then produce new growth and you can see this is one right here it has been tipped and now has three branches growing out of it 
that's what we're hoping to get. This one down here has three branches growing out of it. And same with this one here. Three branches growing out of where we tipped that tree. That is exactly what we want. If we can increase the number of branches growing out of our mango tree, it gives us a much better chance of having not only a beautiful tree, but a tree that has more branch ends, has more opportunities for flowers to produce more mangoes. So this little tree right now, like I said, he's about four and a half feet tall, but growing very nicely, as you can see, um, shaping up very nice. So I hope by the time this tree gets too big for me to, to reach comfortably on a ladder, um, that it has a nice shape and will be a very, very good mango producer. I wanted to show you too, we have marked our trees. We have a little orchard out here with about 50 trees. And, you know, I have a hard enough time remembering the names of my grandchildren. I sure don't have time to memorize all my trees. So we have markers at the base of each of our trees to help me remember which tree it is when I come out here. These are painted on the top of a brick and then sealed. So just an idea for your, your little orchards if you plant them. Mark your trees so you don't forget what they are. Okay, we're back again. I wanted to show you another small mango tree we have on the property. This is a coconut cream mango. This is another dwarf, semi-dwarf variety, uh, suitable for growing in containers. You can grow these right on your back patio. Um, if you're in an apartment or, or a condo, they call these condo mangoes as well. They are a very small tree, can be maintained easily at six to eight feet tall, and will produce fruit for you um, even if grown in containers. You do have to upsize the container a little bit to give the roots plenty of room to grow, but they will produce fruit. I wanted to show you this tree. This tree has been in the ground for about seven months. Um, was probably about two feet tall when we bought it. And when it reached about three feet tall, I tipped it. Um, and I just cut the main, the main trunk of the tree. And I'm gonna try to get down in here so you can see this. This tree, when I cut the main stalk, just went overboard. It produced nine branches out of that one cut. So we have a really good base structure for this tree. It did not produce another trunk. Sometimes they do. Um, they'll produce shoots off to the side and, and still grow straight up. This one did not, but that's just fine. I've got nine strong branches growing out of that one point there. Then we have continued to tip the tree when those branches reach 20 inches. So here is one of those that's been tipped, now has three branches growing out of it. Here's another one that was tipped. This one actually has five branches growing out of it. Uh, this one over here only has two. This one has three. So you can see, you know, I've got a, I've got a lot of tips already, uh, branch tips on this little bitty tree. This tree right now is about four feet tall. Uh, I'm going to back up here a little bit to see if I can get a better shot of it. And you can see it's already starting to take on a nice shape. Um, you know, you can only control so much. Mother Nature does what Mother Nature does. But this is going to be a beautiful tree. Can't wait to taste this one. Everybody says it's one of the better mangoes out there. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. So I wanted to bring you back into the yard and show you this mango tree. This is an orange sherbet mango. This mango has been in the ground for about 20 months. It was probably about 30 inches tall when we planted it. And I used the same technique on this tree that I showed you today, uh, trying to tip the branches every time they get to about 20 inches long. It just helps to produce multiple branches and give the tree more spots to produce fruit. So this tree uh, last year did not produce any fruit for us. It was just a year old, uh, but we do hope that this year the tree is pretty mature. Um, it is a fast growing tree, but we hope that it will produce some mangoes for us. We're really, really anxious to try these. Uh, everybody says they're a really good mango. It's called an orange sherbet mango. It is a vigorous growing tree but it is also a semi-dwarf variety, so we should be able to keep this tree six to eight feet tall um, and just about as wide. 
with a little bit of trimming. Um, I won't do any major pruning this time of year. I'll, I'll wait till right after I harvest fruits to do major pruning and shaping. And I've probably done my last tipping on this tree for the year. We will just wait for it now. It looks like it's putting out one more little uh, growth spurt here. Uh, we call that a flush. And then it'll slow down. Uh, nighttime temperatures are starting to cool off. So it'll slow down through the winter. And then as we come into spring, we'll wait for those flowers to form. And after that, we'll give it a, a good shaping if it needs it. I don't think it will. This is really a beautiful tree. So just wanted to share this one with you and uh, show you what the tree can look like if you tip it regularly. This tree is another tree in my backyard, uh, another mango tree. This tree is a Glen mango. I've also tipped this tree regularly since we bought it. Um, it's the same age as the orange sherbet mango, about 20 months. It was a little bit taller when we planted it than the other tree was, but seems to be just as vigorous in growth uh, but you can see that it, it has a little bit different uh, growth pattern than the orange sherbet does. We have kept it tipped. As you can see, the branches on this are not very long. And uh, we tip those when they get to be 20 inches. So it just has a little bit different growth pattern, but still a nice shape to this tree. This tree did produce 10 mangoes for us last year. So really looking forward to see what it does this next year. I doubt that we'll get double that amount, but we're sure hoping for it. Who doesn't love a good mango, right? So now that you've seen how to tip your mango trees, I hope you'll put this into practice. Don't let your mangoes just grow. Um, tip them on a regular basis. Anytime those branches get to be about 20 inches long, you can tip them right up through about the first part of November and still produce fruit the next year. After November, just let them go. Um, you can always shape them up right after the fruit comes off. So I hope you take these tips today, put them into practice, and don't forget to visit us at toptropicals.com to pick up your mango trees today. Have a great day.